Okay, right, good day. Good day, good day. How are you doing? Very fine. Taeyong Chin. Park So Yun. How are you doing, Park So Yun? 451. Good. 451. Are you looking forward to Chusok? Um, let me see. Okay. All right. Mm. Three. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Okay, um, from now on people are coming in very fast. What is the time? Five, two? Okay. Hi, Kim Na Yon. Hello, Professor. How are you doing? Hi, Kim Na uh, Yeon. 438. Hello. Four, three, four. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, hi, Kang Sung Ju. Four, three, one. Okay, five double one. Yun So Young. Hi, Park uh, Ak Young, four five eight. Four five eight. Um, Yu Su Chung. Um, let's see. Um, f uh, those of you who haven't typed your name in English, please do so to make it easier for me. Otherwise, I'm really going to struggle. Hi, you, uh, Yun So Young. You're there. Um, Hi, Yu Su Chung. Hi. Mm. Right. Let's see. Park Song So. Four, five, six. Um. Hi, Mr. Park Jong So. Four, five, six. Can you hear me, Mr. Pok, Pok Jong So? Yes, I can hear you. Four, five, six. Okay, got you. Um, some more people coming in now. It's nearly Chusok. So we are nearly there. What are you going to do uh, during Chusok? You're going to rest or are you going to work? What are you going to do during Chusok? Take a rest. I think that's the best. It's the best to take a rest. Four eight two. Okay. Hi, Mr. Kim Jo Ho. Five eight. Hello, Professor. How are you doing? I'm fine. 
Great. I hope you have a very nice Chusok. Everybody is in a Chusok spirit. Or aren't, are you not in a Chusok spirit yet? Oh, Mr. So Jun Hyung, why are you upside down? I need to look at, I need to look at you this way. I think I will stretch my neck. Please don't do this to me. I can't look at you all the time like this. Okay, it looks like is everybody here? Uh, four four seven. Jong Wook Moon. Subin Lee, I Subin Lee. Four eight two. Four eight two. Okay. Kim Ya N four three eight. Right, let's just check who's here and who's not here. Is uh, Su Yong Pok here? Su Yong Pok? Su Yong Pok not here. Pok In Sung? Not here. Professor. Oh, where are you? Yeah, I'm here. Why are you so soft? You're very soft. <clears throat> Professor, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. You are very soft, soft spoken. 509. Right. Okay, I got you. Uh, Su Yong Park is not here. Um, Yang Jin Wu, not here. I'm here. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, sorry. My apology. And um, Yu Su Chung is here. Yu Su Chung? Yes, I'm oh, they, uh, there. You are. There you are. Okay, right. And then we are full house except for Suyong Pok. Maybe Suyong Pok is having a nap. All right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna jump to unit three. Uh, remember, we follow the syllabus, and we um, we're gonna do uh, chapter three, unit three. That's on page sixteen. Page sixteen. Okay, fortunately, I remember to uh, press the record button because sometimes I forget to press the record button. You should, you should always remind me. But anyway, this time I remember. Again, you don't have to watch the, uh, the Zoom video. You don't have to watch it unless you want to. But it's not necessary. The only reason I record it is because Wang Kuang says that I should record it. That's for administrative reasons. So... Right, so lend a hand. What does it mean to lend a hand? I want to lend you a hand. What does this mean? Help. Yes, I, I, yes I want to help or you, you can help me. Yes. Uh, but sometimes, um, sometimes we get some annoying requests in life. For example, if I ask you if I could... Uh, Borrow a million one from you. Um, let's just try this at random and see what uh, people will say. Mr. Kang Sungju, if I ask you if I could uh, borrow one million one from you, what would you say? Million? Uh, yes, I can lend you a million one. What? Okay, did you hear that? I think he wants uh, A plus right now. Are you serious? Uh, yes. Well, 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 I am speechless. I'm speechless and dumbfounded. Well, if somebody comes to me and asks me for a thousand, a, a, a thousand one or a million one, I would say to him, are you crazy? Do I look like a bank? <laughs> But if you, are, if you are really in need, it all depends what the need is. If it's about life and death, well, then you have to convince me. If, if it's really about life and death, yeah, then it's a, it's a different matter. Obviously, um, 
in a in a family context that's a total different story because family is there to help each other am i right yeah so if you're really in need well then family is there to help uh, each other yes um i think it's also a very much a cultural thing i think i think some cultures will more easily help each other than others so I do not know, I do not know about your culture. I think your culture, you are very, you're helping each other. In other cultures, it's more uh, everybody for him or herself. Uh, they not, they will not easily help other people. I don't know. It could be. So cultures or people differ all the way, especially when somebody is a little bit stingy. You know, if you are very stingy, you want to keep everything for yourself. Um, especially people who never got married. I know, I know very stingy people, people who, uh, only, th who only think about themselves, who will not give a dime to anybody. I know people like that. And quite honestly, I, I don't like people like that. Uh, I think, uh, especially when you're in a, in a, in a family, especially when you have children of your own, I've got children of my own. I will do everything for my children obviously. So I will give to them everything. But people who don't have children, if you go through life without children, I think you will become very, um, you live for yourself and you become very stingy. You will not easily lend a hand to somebody. Am I right? Well, you are all youngsters who, so you perhaps wouldn't know, but you are very, uh, you are very, um, strong-minded students so i would hope so okay so um i have a couple of powerpoints here that i would like to share with you and would hopefully make you talk so what are we going to do so we're gonna um we, we're gonna look at uh how to make direct and indirect requests to people accepting or declining requests this is what we're going to do today how do you make a request? How can you accept? What is a polite way of accepting a request? What is a, a not such a polite way? R rude. We will get to that. Um, all right. Okay. So let's, let's quickly look at the conversation there that they have there right in the beginning. Thanks a million. It's, it's called thanks a million. Do you, all, do you all have your books? I do not have the digital book, unfortunately I, not. I only have a, a older edition. I don't want to share this with you because there are differences. So that'll be a waste. But anyway, you, you all have books, hopefully. Um, hopefully you all have books. So in this conversation, we have two people, Carlos and uh, Keiku. Can I ask any two people to read this to us? And then as we go through this, we will check out some um, special words, things that uh, people use in, in everyday language. Um, who wants to volunteer for, to play Carlos? Can I do it? Yes, you can do Carlos. Keiku, who wants to be Keiku? Keiku. Anybody? Thank you, Dad. All right, great. Okay, Siza. Siza. Hey, hey Keiko, what's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Um, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thank you so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I will have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck too? Oh, that would be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Okay, right. A fairly straightforward conversation, not really difficult for anything to understand. Uh, everyday language uh, that they use, uh, for example, WhatsApp. 
<laughs> WhatsApp is an app on the on the phone, so that's a common a common way of asking how are you, uh, how are you doing, or is there a problem? Is there a problem? What's up? It could mean two things. It could mean how are you, or it could mean uh, well, do you have a problem? But normally it's yeah, normally it means uh, how are you doing. Um, so in that first. Yeah, when Keiko says, I was wondering, I was wondering if you could help me. So he's not just saying, please help me. Because if he had, say, if he had said, please help me, it would kind of be not very polite. So, so, so to put it politely, you use these words, I was wondering. It's, it's kind of put it in a very soft way a polite uh, uh, manner to ask a favor from somebody. Uh, and then um, Carlos says, uh, sure, have you packed already? Uh, I'm sure you all know what pack means. When you pack up and put everything in boxes or bags, that means to, to pack things. And thanks a million is just a, a common expression by saying thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, on the next page, the grammar focus, they have the focus on less formal and more formal ways of requests, okay? So it all depends who you address the request to and in what circumstances it is, right? So this is, a, this is quite a delicate issue in, in English. You should sum up the specific situation uh, uh, when to use formal language or when to use a less formal uh, language. For example, here, um, can I borrow your, your truck? Could I lend me your truck? And so on and so on. Or would you mind? Would you mind or would you mind helping me on, on su Sunday? So these are all less formal. And when you have a more formal one, it's by saying, I was wondering. Like in the, in the conversation, I was wondering. That's more formal. Yeah, right. Especially when you, when you talk to somebody that, that you do not know that well. Right. Let's quickly look at the exercise there. And then we can go to a PowerPoint and talk a little bit about what we see on the PowerPoint. Let's just look at this. Um, they give different options here. Uh, is it okay if, would, or do you mind I use your cell phone? You see, it's very, it's sometimes, th these could be a little bit tricky. I could say one thing, but you would, uh, you, you, you would want to, to uh, disagree with me. In that first sentence, what would be the best way to say? Is it okay or would you, would I, would, would you use, uh, would you be able, yeah, you see, you need to read the, list, the rest of the sentence. Is it okay if, you cannot say, would I use your cell phone? That sounds ridiculous. No, you cannot say that. Or do you mind I use your cell phone? It doesn't sound right, you see? So you've got to read the full sentence to determine now which is the best answer. And obviously, in a, it's definitely, is it okay, is it okay, um, I use your cell phone. And this is not something I will easily use anybody, unless I am in absolute need. I don't have my phone with me, my battery is flat, and I really need to make a call. And then I will ask uh, my friend, uh, Kyung Jun Lee, uh, can, uh, is it okay if I use your cell phone? And what would be your answer, Chong Jun Lee? Oh, of course I can. <laughs> sure, you can say something like yes. "sure" or "you're welcome." Okay, there are many sure. ways. There are many ways of responding. Okay, and we will get to that just now. Okay, uh, so on the. Well, the, the exact response is there. What, did, what does he say in B? No problem. But can you keep it short? Okay. You, you're telling me 
No problem. But can you keep it short? I'm expecting an important phone call. Okay, obviously, I need to use your phone, uh, Pali Pali, just, just for a short while because I'm in need. I need to phone somebody to come and fetch me, for example. Okay, let's look at number two. Um, anybody can give me the answer here. Let's go for it. Let's do this uh, quickly. Would you mind if I stay, staying, stayed at your place for the weekend? What would that be? Would you mind if? That's perhaps a, perhaps a tricky one. Who could give me the, the answer there? Would you mind stay. if I? Sorry? Stay. Yeah, stay, it is actually stayed. Yeah, we think it's stay, but the English is a little bit, uh, a little bit different here. So we will say stay, it's the third one. Would you mind if I stayed at your place for the weekend? Right. So that's actually the, the, the correct one. The third one stayed with the ED, the past participle. Not at all. I'll be fun to have you stay with us. Okay, number three. What would number three be? I was wondering. If I could. Yes, yes. But, but not could. Please don't say could. Uh, because there is no such English word like could. It's could. Right? Um, if I, I, I was wondering um, if I could borrow your car uh, tomorrow. That is a very polite way of asking. Although I would, I would, I would use the word never. I don't believe in borrowing other people's cars. No, I would never do that. Because <laughs> uh, if you... If you borrow somebody's car and you make an accident, then there's big problems. A car is not something that I will lend out to anybody. No ways. You must be really in uh, a, a, a need, a, a, a need in about life and death uh, using my car, really. Um, so, to my opinion, lending out a car is not uh, really um, recommendable. Right. Uh, sure, that's fine. Just be careful. I've only had it for a couple of months. Okay, but this person is very lenient and he says, okay, no problem. You can have it. Just drive carefully. Number four is, could you? Lend. Yeah, lend. I lend you. Uh, Kang Song Ju was able, he was willing to lend me one million, uh, uh, one million one, uh, and or I can say I want to borrow it from him. He lend it to me, but I borrow it from him. So the difference between lend and borrow. Um, right, number uh, B, I'm sorry, I don't have any money to spare right now. Yeah, uh, uh, really, lending money to, to people. It's not a good idea. Would you lend money to anybody, Subin Lee? Would you I lend? I don't have enough money. Okay, to you. All right. Someone. Yeah. All right. Okay. So you don't have enough money. How about you, Park Soo Hyun? Do you? Would you easily lend money to, to your best friend? Case of my best friend, I will lend my money in my pockets. Yeah, yeah. But only small money, not bigger, not large amounts. Mm. Okay, all yes. right, all right. Maybe something like bus fee or so. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> um, and the fifth one, would you mind? What would that Asking. be? Yes, would you mind helping me pack my stuff this weekend? Right, great. And then, no, I don't mind. I'm not doing anything then. Uh, and the last one is, would you mind or can or is it okay if? Is it okay? Yeah, you can say, is, is it okay if you, you know, this, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. It sounds like a lump sentence. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, can, can will be can. yeah, can can will be the best option here. It doesn't sound uh, like good English if I say, "Is it okay if you feed my cats?" No, it doesn't sound good. Can can is a request. It's a it's a kind of a very polite request, asking you if you could feed my my cats while I'm on vacation. So, can you feed? I know you very well, and I just ask you, well, can you feed my cats while I'm on vacation, please? And you could just say yes or no, or like in this case, yeah, you said no. Sorry, I don't get along with cats. Ah, and I agree with that. I also don't get along with cats. I will not easily look after other people's cats. I will look after other people's dogs. Yes, I love dogs, but honestly, I am not very fond of cats. Sorry, that's my opinion. <laughs> we all have different opinions. Okay, uh, uh, in the next exercise, we have to do this before we jump to our PowerPoint. And this is, um, this is an exercise on uh, making formal requests, okay? In the, in the example, at the, at the top of the page, there are examples using less formal and more formal. So what would we say in these uh, sentences? How will, we, uh, how will we put this sentence in, um, in a formal request? Come to my cousin's we uh, wedding with me. Come to my cousin's wedding with me. You see, it doesn't sound right. It, it doesn't sound like good English. If I say to you, my, cousin, my cousin's Wednesday is tomorrow. And I say to you, come to my cousin's Wednesday. Uh, come to my cousin's wedding with me. It doesn't sound good. How would I say this in a polite way? You need to look at those, the, 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 those sentences at the, at the top, less formal, more formal and less formal. I was wondering if you could. I was wondering if you could. Come to my cousin's wedding with me. Yes, you can say that. You can say that. There are many different, different ways of saying this. There's no, no one specific answer. You could also say, would you mind coming to my cousin's um, wedding with me? You can also say that. So in English, you, you could use different ways of putting the request. There's no one specific uh, right answer here. Number two. Can I borrow your notes to study for the test? Oh, that's a very rude answer. You, you should have done your notes yourself. You cannot borrow your notes from your friend. You should have been in class and uh, you should have done your own notes. Otherwise, people might say, hey, you're a really lazy student. How can you borrow somebody's notes? So how would I put, how would I put this in a polite way? Would you mind borrowing? Yes, you can say that. Would you mind borrow, Would you mind borrowing or lending? Would you mind? Would you mind lend, lending your notes uh, to me for the test? Yeah, you can say that. What is another way? What is another way of saying? I was wondering. If I can borrow. Yeah, you can also say that. You can also say that. You can say that and you can also say, is it okay? Is it okay if I borrow your notes to study for the test? Okay. Is it okay? That is more friend to friend, you know? Friend to friend. Is it okay? Uh, I was wondering is more... Well, well, I do not know you that well, so that then I perhaps would rather use I was wondering. So it all depends to who you're talking. But that is very polite. You can use that. Um, can you lend me your camera to take me with, uh, with me on my vacation? Okay, how would I say that?
Anybody? I was wondering if you lend, if you could lend me your camera. Yes, you can say that. You can say that, or you can just say, "Could you lend me your camera to take uh, with me on my vacation?" Yeah, you can. You can say both. You see, there are different ways of saying uh, things. There's no absolute, definite one rule for certain senses. They're very flexible. You can say things in different ways. Drive me to the airport. If I come up to you to, uh, to ask you to drive me to the airport and I say, I say to you, drive me to the airport, that is not a nice thing to say. It's not very polite. It's an actual fact, very rude. It means you must drive me to the airport. Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that unless you ask me in a polite way. Hey, ask me nicely. So how, how can you ask me in a, in a, in a polite way? Could you drive me to the airport, please? Yes, that is polite. That's polite. No problem with that sentence. Or I can just say, I was wondering if you could uh, drive me to the airport. Yes. You see? You can say that as well. Help me paint my apartment. So if I say to you, hey, help me paint my apartment. It, is, it sounds as if I'm giving you instruction to help me to paint my apartment. Or it sounds as if I'm in indefinite need. I want you to paint my apartment. But this is not the way... I should uh, request you to help me to paint my apartment. So how would I say this in a polite way? Uh, would you mind helping me to paint my apartment? Yes, great, excellent, well done. Or I can just say, well, could you help me paint my apartment? Yeah, you can say that that way as well. And then, um, I'd like to borrow your cell phone to call a friend in London. Okay, so again, this is not a polite way to say it this way. I'd like to borrow. I'd like to borrow. Uh, it sounds as if he, has, uh, he or she has an obligation to lend his or her phone to me, in, for, for me to, to, to call my friend in London. No, there's no, they, there shouldn't be any obligation. You should just put a friendly request to the person and, uh, well, how, how would you say it? Could you borrow your cell phone to call a friend in London? Yes, you can say that or you can say, um, you can use the fourth one from the top. Do you mind? Do you mind uh, if I borrow your cell phone to call a friend in London? Do you mind if? Okay. All right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to a PowerPoint and see what we've got here. Um, these are some, yeah, I've got, I think I've got, yeah, I've got three, three PowerPoints. I'm not sure whether we will get to all. And, well, we, we can spend uh, two lessons with, with unit three. So let's ha see how far we get. Okay. Um, these, this is basically a, a recap of what we've just done. Focus uh, on different ways to ask permission, make requests, or offer help. Okay. We ask permission when we want to be permitted or allowed to do something. Some forms are more polite than others. Okay, this is what we have said exactly. Okay, so here it is. I think this PowerPoint explains it more clearly. A polite way, can I leave early? More polite, could I leave early? Do you think I could leave early? May I leave early? Do you mind if I leave early? Is it all right if I leave early? So this is, this is more polite 
than just saying, can I leave early? And there's the response. Yes, you can. No, I'm sorry, you can't. That's all right. Sorry. Okay, so this is just a little bit of grammar. Uh, could I, could I lend or borrow your car? Could I use the phone? Just a little bit of grammar, but offering help. When we want to do something for another person, we just offer help. Shall, shall I carry your bag? Yes, please. I'll carry your bag, thanks. Would you like a glass of water? Yes, please, no thanks. So again, a request is a way of politely asking some, someone to do something. The kind of request we use depends on where we, where we are, who we are talking to, and what we want the person to do. You see, it's a sensitive uh, situation, uh, who you're talking to, okay? But you need to choose your words carefully. Some forms are considered to be more polite than others. Uh, you also have in Korean um, a very polite way of asking things. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, I'm, yes. Sure. Yes, I'm sure. Okay. So, um, in, in general, direct questions are not very polite. We prefer indirect questions. Right. What's your passport number? That's not very polite, it's very direct. So when you go to some office the, the, and, the, and the person needs your passport number, they will ask you this, what's your passport number? Could you tell me what your passport number is? Very polite, okay? Where do you live? Could you tell me where you live? More polite. It's always better to use the polite form. I, I prefer to you always use the polite form, then I feel I'm safe. I don't want to sound as if I'm rude. You know, I don't like rude people. I don't like rude people. So I wouldn't like to act like a rude person. Could you tell me where you live? Uh, how do you want to pay? Could you tell me how you want to pay? Polite. Where do you want to stay? Would you mind telling me where you want to stay? More polite. Give me a couple of minute, minutes. Would you give me a couple of minutes, please? Very polite. Okay. All right. So here again, the same as we've just had a little, a little bit earlier. Could you help me with a computer? Could you help me with a computer? Would you help me? Or do you think you could help me? Or could you possibly help me with a computer? Would you mind helping me? So different ways of, of putting this. Could you help me? Would you mind helping me? All right, so uh, this is this one. Um, all right, let's go to the other one. Let's go to this one here. Um, this one here. So accepting and refusing invitation. So uh, this is exactly what we've done so far, making, accepting, refusing. Now they expand a little bit on this, you know. It is all about uh, who you address the request to and and how you uh, how you put your your request persuading someone so so these are basic sample phrases that you could use when you when you talk and when you write i would like to invite you to dinner uh, next Sunday at my home. I would like to invite you. 
I cannot just say to you, hey, come to my, come to my house for dinner next Sunday. It's not nice, not, not polite. I was wondering if you'd like to come to dinner on Wednesday evening. Uh, would you like, uh, care, or would you care to have dinner with us on Saturday? What about dinner tonight? Or how about dinner tonight? Okay, let's go to our place for dinner. Uh, let's go to a place for dinner. This is, I would, ra I would more say this to a, a, a good friend. Yeah, not to somebody that I do not know that well. Let's go to, this is, I will, I will say this to my best friend. Would you mind coming to my party? That's an invitation to come to my party. Would you mind coming to my party? Do you feel like coming to, to the party? An own informal invitation. Uh, when I come over for dinner tonight. So wanna stand for one, two. When we talk, we don't say, in everyday language, we don't say one, two. We just say wanna. Because we, t we talk pali pali. We talk fast, just like you. Um, and when I pop over for a quick dinner, do you want to pop over for a quick dinner? We don't talk like this, that. We, we talk fast. We want to pop over for a quick dinner. How about coming over for dinner tonight? Very polite. Come, a uh, care to come over for dinner tonight. Uh, formal invitations. Now it becomes more formal. Would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Would you care to join us for dinner at our house tonight? Very polite, very formal. I was just wondering if you would like to come over for dinner. Very formal. Please come over for dinner tonight. Very formal. I actually don't like these kinds of formal. It's too formal. Uh, we, we like to be more, to be, to be informal. But if, if, you, if you do not know the, the person that well, you... You could use these formal invitations, invitation phrases. And we'd be, delight, we'd be delighted to have you over for dinner tonight. That's also a very formal invitation. And accepting the invitations, thank you for your invitation. I'll, I'll be delighted to. Uh, they, they wouldn't say, I would be delighted to. We don't talk like this. We just use uh, contractions and saying, I'd be delighted. Thank you. I'd love to. Yes, thanks. That would be great. Wonderful. Or that'd be great. That'd be great. Wonderful. Sounds great. Like fun. Okay. All right. And, and informal accepting. Sure. What time? So I'll talk this language to my best friends. Sure. What time? What time can I, can over, can I come over? Or why not? When do you want me to be there? Sure. When should I be there? Yes. Want me to bring something? Oh, this is very short. It means, do you want me to bring something with? Instead of saying such a long sentence, I'll just say, want me to bring something? Like, for example, bottle of wine or something else, maybe a gift. I'd love to. I'll bring dessert. What a splendid idea. I won't say no. I will always say yes for invitation. I won't say no, especially when there, there's food. How can you say no to food? I'll never say no to food. All depends what it is. But I like most, most foods. Formal accepting. Thank you. I'd love to. Would you like me to bring anything? Thank you very much. I'd be delighted to. What time should I be there? Oh, certainly. Thank you. Do I need to bring anything? And refusing? Um, I'm awfully terribly sorry. I have other plans for that night. I'd really like to. I wish I could, but I have an appointment that day. 
thanks for asking, but I'm afraid I'm busy. I can't. I've got a lot of work to do. Sorry, I'm already tied up. Sorry, I'm already tied up means, well, I'm already busy with other things. I, I can't come. I need some time to think about it. Check my calendar. I will have to call you back. Thanks for thinking of me, but I, I have made other plans. An informal refusing will be, um, I can't, I have to work. So I'll say this to my best friends if I really can't make it to their party. Uh, tonight's no good. I have an appointment. I'm busy tonight. I have to take a rain check on that. Um, this is an expression. Look at this. Can I take a rain check on that? A rain check means if someone invites you to dinner on a night that you are busy, you can't say, can I take a rain check? This means that you hope they will invite you again on another night. I think that's very important. So you're just saying no for a good reason, but you're hoping, uh, well, uh, they, they invite you for another night and then you can say, can I take a rain check on that? So you would like to come another day. And formal refusing, I'd love to, but I'm afraid I'm busy tonight. I'd love to, but I already have plans tonight. I'd like to, but I don't think I can. Hesitating. Oh, you're not sure. No, you're not sure. What, is it a yes or a no? Thank you, but I'll have to check my calendar. Maybe if you're, if you're married uh, or you, uh, you've got a good friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, you will have to check with your boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, do you mind if I tell you on Monday? Okay, because you need to make sure uh, whether your partner can come with you or not, if you want to go with a partner, boyfriend or girlfriend. So you just say, uh, thank you, but I'll have to check my calendar. I'm not sure what my plans are. Could I get back to you tomorrow? Okay. This is what people normally say, because most of the time people are not sure. Then they'll say, well, could I, could I get back to you tomorrow? I'm not sure. They could say to them straight, straight language. Listen, I'm not sure, but could I get back to you tomorrow? Uh, I might be busy. I'll let you know later. Yeah, uh, let me think it over. Well, although these last two are not very polite, uh, these it it might sound as if they are not really interested to, to come to your party. Not really interested. So not very, not very polite. But they are hesitating. Persuading someone, come on, don't be a spoil sport. So you want to convince somebody to please come to uh, our party or my party. You won't regret it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Okay, and then we have a dialogue here. Uh, we have a dialogue. We have different dialogues here. Uh, maybe we can ask some of you to just read this to us. Uh, Anne and Jim, who wants to be Anne? Anne is a girl. Who wants to be Anne? Yes. Come on, any girl? And I do it, Natasha. Right, great. Who's, who's Jim? I'll do Jim. Great. I'll give you a hand. Yeah. Hallelujah, my friend Jong, Jong Jun, he, he is not Bukurupta. <laughs> She's up. Bob and I are having a little get together in our place tonight. Wanna pop over after work? Sure, why not? What time do you want me to be there? Around six. Okay, want me bring want me to bring something? No, just bring yourself. Just bring yourself. This is a very casual way of speaking. I love this short dialogue. This is the way people speak. Okay? Right, the next one uh very short. Sam and Tom. Okay, two guys. Two guys. <coughs> 
Who is Sam? Hi. Okay, right. You are Sam. Who is Tom? I I doing Tom. Okay, great. Want to come over for a quick meal tonight? Tonight? No, good. I have a date. Can I take a rain check? Okay, no problem. Enjoy your evening. Okay, you great. too. Okay, great. So you want to go another night, right? So no problem. You will be invited soon again. Uh, Jan and Brown. Okay, who's Jan? Who's Brown? Could be anybody. Jan could be a girl or a man. I don't know. Jan sounds like a man, but the girls can also play it. Who's Jan? Who's Jan? Come on, don't be so shy. <laughs> uh, can I do it? Yes, sure. Hallelujah to you. Okay, who's brown? I'll be brown. Hallelujah to you. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brown, my husband and I were just wondering if you would like to come over for dinner this evening. Oh, thank you. I'd be delighted to. Great. Could you come over at around 6? Sure. Do I need to bring anything? No, but thanks for asking. Okay, see you this evening then. Okay, great. Great. Oh, it changed slightly. Can we can we have again another Jan and another Brown? It's you can't make it here, right? Who's Jan this time? Come on, you must start. I want to go on Chusok. Now I must wait for you. I cannot wait until the start of Chusok. You, we, you, must, you must start. I will do, Jan. Thank you. You are Jan. Who's Brown? I will do it. Thank you. Mr. Brown, my husband and I were just wondering if you could like to come over at dinner this evening. Well, I'd love to, but I have another appointment tonight. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe next time then. Yeah, thank you for asking. Enjoy your evening. Okay, thank you. Great. Straightforward. Okay, so uh, here uh, you have to, we, we won't do this now. I think I will give this to you as an assignment to do. Uh, and again, don't worry, I will not give you assignments during Chusok. Don't worry, I won't do it. I will perhaps just post it, but that'll be for next week. So, um, so don't worry, I will not hassle you with assignments this week. It'll be for next week. But I think this will be a good exercise to uh, use uh, appropriate expressions, right? Um, yeah, it's dialogue one, two, and three. Uh, and also, yeah, no, I won't give you this. This is just a conversation from the jumbled lines. And that also we won't do. That's it. Okay. Right. So this is about this uh, um, PowerPoint. Let's go back to the book. What is the time? What is the time now? I don't see my time on my computer. Oh, it's 10 to. Oh, we've got about 30 minutes left. Right. Okay, let's uh, go to um, the top of page 19. Top of page 19. Um, there they have um, uh, verb noun collocations. Okay, also they are, you, you, you can use different verbs for a uh, for a combination of verb noun collocation. For example, 
Uh, number one, it says uh, return do or ask for or make a favor. So they ask which verb is not usually paired with each noun. So the odd one out, there's one in each line that does not sit there. Okay, so you need to scratch one out. So how can I say, how can I say to you, uh, please do me a favor? I can ask, ask you, please do me a favor. Um, give me, give me 10,000 won because I need to go and buy an ice cream. Do me a favor, please give me 10,000 won. Or I could say, could you please lend me uh, 10,000? But okay. Um, return, return a favor, do a favor, ask for a favor, make a favor. Which one doesn't sound right? Make. Yeah, make. No, you cannot say make me a favor. That's terrible English. Oh, that's terrible English. Return, return a favor, do a favor, ask for a favor. That's good. Make a favor? No, no, that's terrible English. Uh, number two, um, owe an apology. I owe you an apology for doing something wrong. I've said something wrong. I owe you an apology. I offer my apology. Uh, Accept an apology. Uh, do an apology. Which one is wrong? Which one is wrong? Which one doesn't fit? I, I can say I owe you an apology. I've done something wrong and I can say, listen, I am so sorry. I owe you an apology. I can also say, I'm so sorry about this, but uh, I offer you my apology. Please accept my apology. Yeah, and there it is exactly. Please, I can also say to you, please accept my apology for what I've just said. Maybe I've said something wrong. And I said to you, please, uh, please accept my apology. But can I say, do, do my apology? Do an apology? Can I say that? No, that sounds terrible. Uh, does no, that doesn't make sense. Do is doesn't 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 work here. Number three, uh, receive. Uh, receive an invitation. Accept an invitation. Turn down an uh, invitation. Offer an invitation. Which one is the wrong one? Anyone? Anyone can tell me. Turn down. Uh, I can turn down an invitation. You can invite me for you can you can invite me for dinner tonight, but I'm busy tonight, and I can turn down your invitation. I can say to you, I'm sorry, I can't make it. I am busy tonight. Okay. So you can you can turn down. I can accept your invitation. You are inviting me for dinner. I accept it. I say to you. That will be nice. I'd really like to uh, go with you to your dinner, having dinner with you. Receive an invitation. Okay, I can send you an invitation by email, by Kakao Talk. And then you can say to me, well, you received my invitation uh, and you would like to, uh, to go with me. Offer an invitation. Can I offer an invitation? No, that, that is not good English. Offer invitation, not good English. Terrible English. Uh, terrible English. Uh, the next one is, uh, is about a gift. Do a gift, receive a gift, give a gift or accept a gift. Which one is bad English? Do. Yeah, do is bad English. That's terrible. Terrible. And number five, uh, a phone call. Do a phone call. I do a phone call. I return a phone call. You, f you phone me, um, but I, my voicemail was on, and then I'll just return the call. Uh, or I make a phone call to you, or I receive a phone call from you. Which one is bad
Which one is bad here? Yes? Park Hakyung. Can you tell me which one is bad? Bad English. Take oh. a, do yeah, do is bad. Really bad. Uh, request. Um, accept a request, make a request, decline a request, or offer a request. Which one doesn't sound right? You decline. Could, sorry? Decline. I can decline a request. You, you can request me um, you can request me to to resubmit uh, your assignment, but I can decline it. Uh, by the way, I think this is a good example that I use. Uh, some students have requested their assignment to be resubmitted. No, I declined that. That is not possible. Yeah, if you if you submit uh, an assignment. You cannot, and I mark it, and you say to me, but you want to resubmit it. No, that's not possible. <laughs> One Kwong doesn't allow it. It's not my decision. You cannot do that. So I will decline. Make a request. Yes, I can make a request. I can accept your request for invitation, for whatever. But can I offer a request? I cannot really offer a request. No. No. Now I can offer an apology, like we've, if we've seen. I can I can do I can offer an apology, but I cannot offer a request. That is not good English. That's bad English. Then receive a compliment. Uh, receive a compliment. Compliment. I say to you, you look great today. So you're receiving a nice compliment from me. Uh, return a compliment. I say to you, oh, uh, you look great. And you, you return the compliment. You say, uh, well, you look uh, great too. Uh, give a compliment. I can give you a compliment by saying, ah, listen, you got a nice uh, dress to, on today. I give you a nice compliment. Or you look great today. That is giving uh, somebody a good compliment. Um, can I do a compliment? I do a compliment to, to you. Can I do that? Can I do a compliment? Uh, yes? Anybody? Can I do a, How do I do a compliment? Pak uh, Unsung, can I do a compliment to you? Uh, no. Yeah, and that's, it, it sounds feeble. It sounds silly. How can you do a compliment? I can only, I can only um, give a compliment to you. Uh, I like your, I like your, um, what do you call it? Your shirt. No, you don't have a shirt on, but I like your, what do you call that? Um, Tr trouser? Um, Pullover? Um, sweater. Sweater. I like your sweater. Yes. I really, really like your sweater. Where did you buy the sweater? Did, can I also go and buy a sweater like that at Lotte Mart? Yes, I think I'll also look nice in that kind of sweater. Right, okay. Um, so do not good. Okay. Um, there is, yeah, there's another PowerPoint that I would like to go to, but that'll be our last PowerPoint. But that'll be on the next page. But before we, we get to, oh my goodness, what was that? Something went in my, something in my ears. Did you hear that? No. Oh, yeah, sorry. That was a, it is a message from some place that I forgot to switch off. <laughs> it was quite loud in my ears. Anyway, before we get to that, let's look at perspectives. In um, in A, uh, this is a this is a actually a listening exercise, but we can do this without listening to it. We can just guess what the answer would be. 
It's about a uh, request people make at a school where Mary Martin teaches. Okay. So I will do the first one to you and then you can, I think this is very easy. So we should uh, quickly go through this. If you see Mary, can you tell uh, her? Yeah. Tell her that she left her phone in my car. What's number two? Please read the whole sentence. If you got the answer, please just, just read it. Anybody. Right? You need to read the whole sentence, okay? Would you ask her? Yeah, but please read the whole sentence, okay? Uh, if you see Mary, could you ask her whether or not she is coming to the teacher's meeting? Right, great. Um, if, right, number three, if you see Ms. Martin. Anybody? If you oh, see Ms. Martin. Okay, all right, uh, go for it, Park uh, Jong So. You, you were together um, with. If you see Ms. Martin, can you ask her if she's graded our tests yet? Okay, great. Great. Uh, next one, four. Kim Jo Ho, why are you so silent today? Uh, I will today. If right. you see Mary, please tell her not to forget the students' reports. Right. Okay. Thanks so much. Um, uh, number five. How about you, Kim Na Yon? If you see Mary, could you um, tell her to find me in the cafeteria after her meeting? Uh, no, I would rather say, could you ask her to find me in the cafeteria? Um, yeah, I would rather it's uh, rather say ask there. Right. Uh, six. Um, Last one. Last one. Uh, come on, Mr. Kang Sungju. Why are you so bukurupta today? If you see Miss Martin, would you ask her what time I can talk to her about my homework? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, right. Let's go to the next page. Okay, so uh, we already we already had this in the PowerPoint, the indirect requests. Um, um, yeah, we al basically already had this. Um, now, look at the bottom part there. They say they read the things people want to say to Mary. Okay, now, how would you say this? Uh, rewrite the sentences as indirect requests, okay? So, there we have examples how to put a statement, indirect request. Mary, you left your phone in my car, and by putting this indirectly, you could say, could you tell Mary that she left her phone in my car? Okay, so this is indirect request. Imperatives, Mary, don't forget the student's report. Now you put this, that into an indirect request by saying, can you tell Mary not to forget the student's report? Okay. So the one, the imperative is more a rude kind of way to say it. Uh, this is exactly what we've done in the, in the, in the PowerPoint. This is just more grammatically spoken here. They just put it in, into a category. So it's exactly the same what we've already done. Um, yes, no questions. Miss Martin, have you graded our tests? So indirect request, can you ask her if she's graded our tests? Okay, indirect requests. Um, and then Mary, are you coming to the meeting? Could you ask her whether or not she is coming to the meeting? Indirect request. 
And then WH questions, Mary, where are you having lunch? Okay, you need to ask the request, can you ask Mary where she's having the lunch? Indirect request, introduced by a question. And the last example that we got there is, um, uh, Ms. Martin, Ms. Martin, what time can I talk to you about my homework? Indirect request, would you ask her what time I can talk to her about my homework? Okay, so now, shall we do this exercise here? I don't want to give this to you as homework, no. No, no, well, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's, the time is uh, six minutes past four. We can quickly do this. Um, I, will, I will put up the answers to you. So, um, but let's first try and do it. Mary, did you get my message about your phone? How would I say this in an indirect request? Is there anybody who would like to try this? Mary, did you get my message about your phone? Anybody? Could you ask Mary if she got my message about her phone? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. You can say, that is one way of saying it. There are many ways of saying it. You can say, can you ask Mary if or whether she's got my message about a phone? So you can say, can, or you can say, could. You can, say, or you can also say, would you ask Mary? if or whether she got my message about her phone. Okay? Let's try the second one. Uh, after the second one, I will, um, I will put out the answers out there just to save some time because we might not finish in time. So let's do the second one and then I will put out the, the, the answers and then you can, you can write it down. Okay? Right, the second one is, Mary, will you give me a ride to school tomorrow? Right, what would the indirect request be? It's basically the same as... To ask as, Mary yeah. whether or not she will give me a ride to school tomorrow. Okay, again, you can say can or could or would you ask Mary if... Or you can use whether uh, she'll give uh, me a ride to school tomorrow. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm just going to share the screen and um, go to the um, PowerPoint here. No, it's not a PowerPoint. It's not a PowerPoint. Right. There it is. There are the answers. Okay. Let's, okay. We finish with number one and two. Uh, we can quickly do number three. This is just to help you to make sure the alternatives in saying this. Number three is, Miss Martin, when is our assignment? Can or could or would you ask Miss Martin when our assignment is due? Okay. You see? Different ways of uh, indirect requests. And then um, the fourth one, uh, Mary, why didn't you meet us at uh, the cafeteria for lunch? Can or could or would you ask Mary why she didn't meet us at the cafeteria for lunch? You see, you can use either can or could or would. Some people like to, to, to rather use could. I prefer could. I always rather use could. 
Could is more common. But different nations, different, um, yeah, different, uh, different uh, English-speaking groups rather will use something else. Uh, I cannot say that the Americans would rather use could or would. I cannot say that because I don't know. I'm not sure. If you if you look if you watch a lot of American movies, I think you will rather use could. Yeah. I'm not sure what the British would, would, would use. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Five, Miss Martin, I won't be in class tomorrow night. Can or could or would you tell Miss Martin that? Or you, or you can leave after that. I won't be in class tomorrow night. Can you tell Miss Martin uh, I won't be in class tomorrow night? That is straightforward. Number six, uh, Mary are going to the school party on Saturday. Can you ask Mary, or could you ask Mary, or would you ask Mary if she's going to the school party on Saturday? Okay. Um, and then number seven, uh, please return my call when you get, my, when you get your phone back. Can, uh, can you tell Mary uh, to please return my call when she gets a phone back? Can, would, or could, ask or tell? Okay. And then number eight is Mary, have you received my wedding invitation? Can you ask Mary if or whether she has received my wedding invitation. Can, could, or would. Would. Okay, any questions on this? Okay, any, uh, in the last, uh, in the last uh, seven minutes, can you, can you put a request to anybody? Uh, not to me, but to some of your, your, your colleagues here on the big screen. Uh, put any requests. Do you have any specific request? But you just use your imagination. It need not be real requests. Or you can just ask each other some some kind of thing, you know? Right. Shall we try this? You can use, you can use these examples that we've uh, done earlier today. Right. Anybody who wants to put a request to somebody? Ask something, suggestion. Subin Lee, don't you have a request for somebody? Yeah, please, just use your imagination. It doesn't have to be genuine. Okay? Okay, I'm going to stop, mm -hmm. stop sharing here. Yeah. Just make a sentence. Yeah, sure. Anything. Mm -hmm. Could you ask Arnold that if if there is any homework this weekend? Okay, sure. I will not give anybody any homework this weekend. I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. I won't do it. Right. You can kill me if I do that. Look, Mr. Mr. Kyung Jun Lee is laughing. He's laughing at me, he, say, he thinks by himself, if that man gives us homework this Chisok, we are stand together and we're coming to kill him here at uh, Wan Kwong. Yeah, I have to fear for my life. 
<laughs> but okay, I might put it on the on the E class system, but I'll just put uh, the date uh, the date. I think I'll to be to play safe. Well, I'll put the date for. Listen, next week, next week in Friday, the ninth is a holiday. I I was actually surprised when I found out that Friday the ninth is also a public holiday. What holiday is it? Friday the 9th of October. What holiday is there? You don't have class on that day. Green day. Yeah, what kind of public holiday is this? You know? You don't know what holiday is this? Oh, Hangulai. It's Hangul Day. Yeah. So on that day, you don't have any class. Am I right? You don't have any class. Okay. Any other requests? Lee Sol, do you have any requests? Uh, could you ask him um, if he... Uh, if we go to his hometown this Chuseok. Okay, uh, who who is that? Kim. Oh, the professor. Okay, are you talking to me? Yes. Uh, sorry, just repeat. Just repeat again. Uh, could you ask Anor that uh, if he. Uh, come back to his hometown. <laughs> okay. <Chisa. laughs> okay. Right. Are you so you're asking, you're asking if um, if I'm going away for Chusok that I would come back to my hometown Iksan. Is, is, yes. that, is, that, is that what you're saying? Yes. I surely am going back. I'm coming back to Iksan. But I don't think. Yeah. I might go to my friend in Gerion. Yeah, I have some good friends in Nigeria. You know, uh, uh, before, yeah, I, I lived in Nigeria from 2008 until 2018. Yeah, I lived in Nigeria for 10 years of my life. And then I went back to Namagong and I only recently came back. So I will always say to people, listen, Nigeria is the most beautiful town in Korea. And oh, I heard the other day that uh, Gyeongyang has got, um, it's not a town anymore, it's a city now. It's got city, city status. Does anybody of you know Gyeongyang? Nobody knows Gyeongyang. Gyeongyang, you do know where Gyeongyang is. Gyeongyang is very close to Daejeon. Yeah, I worked in um, in in uh, in Daejeon Usong University for five years, and I traveled every day from Giryong to Daejeon. Yeah, I I I wouldn't live in um, in Daejeon. I prefer to to live in in Giryong because Giryong is, is a small town. Now it's a city because it expanded a little bit more. Uh, but I really loved um, Giryong. There's some beautiful road tracks for cycling and Giryong mountain is just around the corner from Giryong and Giryong is also the uh, capital is also the military capital of Korea am i right yes the military headquarters is in uh, Giryong so i also met some military people there and actually in actual fact i still got some military friends there all right. Okay. Listen. What is the time? The time is twenty past. So I need to say to you, you should have a, a happy uh, Chusok. Uh, enjoy your food and the drinks, and you should have uh, wherever you go. You go to your family, your relatives, wherever you go to. I wish you a prosperous and a happy time. Okay. Goodbye and thank you. See you next week and Tuesday. Bye bye. 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 Have a nice choose up. Thanks, Kyung. Uh, Have a nice uh, holiday. Yes. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye-bye. Nice choose up. Happy choose up. Bye-bye.